Hello and welcome, hello and welcome to another edition of the Tele to Rachel Talk Show program on women and politics. Um, I want to welcome you all on board this program. And if you're just joining in, please share the video, share the video. I want to welcome you all, share the video. Uh, follow me on Facebook, follow me on YouTube, Rachel Bangura. Follow me every South Saturday so that we'll be able to forget all the videos and all the programs that way and they do um, anytime we are popular. I want to welcome you again, welcome, share, tag your friends today. Um, we get, as always, very, very important uh, thing we can discuss about to become the Mama Salo. So I want to stay tuned and stay connected. And I want to say thanks to Star TV for bringing this program, you know, to the people then back home, to the people that we're not able for kind of social media, to the people that we're not get light for able for come, you know, um, or not get data for come. Now, Facebook, you know, I want to say thank you to Star TV because this program is being broadcasted live on Star TV. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, Lamzo. Welcome, Jennifer. Welcome, Aminata. Welcome, Memuna, too. So I want to welcome you all, and they can bring, you know, the big allegio, the big allegio, and they bring canal because time more there, and they bring the big allegio now, because we can talk very important thing we concern Mama Salo. <laughs> Hello, Madam Femi Claudia Skoll. Welcome back on board this program. As always, say hello to Fambule. Hey, Fambule, una good evening. Hmm. A tough Ramadan going on right now, but still we get life, we get hope. Thank you so much. And I want to use this opportunity again that you mentioned Ramadan, Ramadan Karim to all the Muslims that we don't keep fast uh, and already observe this month of Ramadan. May God answer on our prayers then in the name of Allah and by God in power. Okay, so today we can't talk, Madam Femi the school, we can't respond to His Excellency the President, um, an independent speech we will give from them, Madam Femi the school, now the chairperson of COP, you know, the consortium of progressive political party, and also now the leader of unity party, we are in your party, Dandy. But, you know, as always, when, you know, the, the leader of a country talk or the president of a country talk, of course, we, when are the citizens, we are our political opponents, then definitely get for respond for making the people understand, say, hey, what's in this president talk? Not true, although we're the opposition, but all what you talk, or most of the things that we talk, not true. So we serve them in line with what you talk. Or they counter what in the president talk and make we self see what in a, what in a, their own <laughs> their own reason why they did that. So that that they have so for today. So Madam Femi Claudia School, when are the chairperson of COP, they can't tell me what president bio in speech how they see him as an opposition and compared to what in the happen in reality not the ground. But before Madam Femi Claudia School go, you know, go comment as always. You know, we can always say what in. Uh, waiting camera capture on a video they show or something. So now we get for cash right now. Waiting the camera be capture where uh, President Biore talk that speech. Here. Now we can show because my video get for sure. And based on that day, we they can talk about today. So now stay tuned and share, share, share the video. <laughs> Fellow citizens, Assalamu alaikum wa matula tala abarakatu. May this holy month of Ramadan strengthen our taqwa. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestow on us peace, abundance, and blessings. Our country, like all countries around the world, has continued to wrestle with the immense global economic crisis and the lingering effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. 
global supply chains have been disrupted and everything around the world is now more expensive in every country. Food, fuel, and other goods are now more expensive in the United States, United Kingdom, France, China, Australia, India, Nigeria, Ghana, Guinea, and even in Sierra Leone than they were just a few months ago. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has continued to be merciful to our great nation. My government has taken immediate steps to soften the impact of these hard economic times. Our quick action economic recovery program and other subsidies and tax incentives have kept essential goods on the market. Government has also undertaken social safety net programs to help out the hardest hit and most vulnerable of our citizens. Multilateral partners have praised my government's action. Okay, okay. Um, welcome again, Madam Femi Claudia School. Um, this will be taken bit by bit because some people people need to understand what's in the president's talk. And um, that is what they can do today. But so this part of the, the, the introduction um, of the speech of His Excellency President Pio's speech, where he welcome people there and he tell people there, I'll do and um, talk about the increases of price, all call call country, call call country them and all of that. How you see, first of all, how President Bio address the nation, Sierra Leone? Well, for me, um, the biggest thing that hit me not the fact that he actually made only a Muslim prayer. Now, one thing where we pride ourselves on as I alone, now we religious tolerance. Um, and it, it's surprising that on this occasion, he chose for not for be embracing of both religions. And um, for sure, say really at the end of the day, what what did he even try for do? He didn't even do accurately. Whereby, under normal circumstances, you will acknowledge both religions. In trying to just focus on one, he actually ended up making an even bigger blunder, you know, than if he had you know embraced all the religions. That for for an opening, I thought that was in that was not very nice. Um, we realize, say, um, Ramadan done the run almost parallel with Easter. So there was, should have been an acknowledgement of both faiths. You know, so if that, if my, that would be, that would be my first criticism, if I for make one at all, to see, I don't see why he couldn't embrace both faiths at that moment. So, so how about, say, you talk about the increase of commodities, uh, you know, food, they mention all them countries there, so where prices and don't increase, food, um, and gas, or, or let me say petrol, and all of that, he mentioned all the country that they, do, do, do you think that he was like trying to let some people understand, say, not to be one day inside the struggle, or do you feel that he was trying to defend, being on the defense of, of, of waiting to be on the country? Well, I think um, then to, we, I mean, from from 2018 to now, we don't see, if you look at certain areas then, prior to COVID, prior to to um, the Ukraine war, we may not already see, so we may not begin for go in a particular direction. The, the government and the country may not begin for go in a particular direction. We, not have been the not have been the best direction. We, we can see that with the exchange rate. We don't see that with food prices. Um, if if we we look at some of the the publications them of the NGC, we are able to see the, the direction in which prices then don't they go even pre COVID, even pre Ukraine. Uh, um, so for me, I think it was 
Not, not just a, a perfect excuse so right now. Maybe they stand on in defense for, for make sure yeah. people understand so not everyone they go through this other countries yes. going through that. Yes, and, and, and the South Side that comparison there for me, it falls short. It's because we also they see steps where other African leaders they take for mitigate their shocks then they where we they see say in we own case, what do we they do for mitigate them? Nothing. All we they get now just the excuses upon excuses. And um, I think to say the Ukraine war just come at a time where it gives this government a perfect excuse. But the people away don't they go market, don't they go market for a while. Before ever you Russia attack Ukraine, we don't they go market, we don't they see the trajectory way cost of living don't they go. And teachers then don't they talk. Workers then don't they talk, then don't they strike even before the Ukraine crisis? We don't they see crisis in fuel, don't they increase before the Ukraine crisis? And even with this, this big increase where we get this last increase, it's difficult for Led and Stella to we say that was directly impacted by the Ukraine crisis <laughs> because so, now been current supplies. Yeah, so basically, um, you know, all within President Bill, they try for talk, especially in the initial opening, that all of this country, we serve not only one day inside this crisis, all them country. But you're trying to say, like, for say, we don't they go through the crisis from from the inception of the Bill administration. Is that what you're trying yes. to say? It, 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 the direction don't they go downhill since then. Um. The, the, the issues of the administration don't become apparent very early on from the very first audit report. Even before that, we don't begin to see prices. Don't really they escalate, as I say, and fear too don't be done, they go up gradually. So um, again, for me, I, I can want to say, self, uh, um, let me left COVID out of it because I think Sierra Leone was really blessed in terms of, it, when you look with COVID response, to be COVID numbers. You know, say this has been God's intervention. Not to nothing where we do, because a lot of the stuff where we do have been backhand kind of stuff that we do. Um, I think say now God now really. What do you mean by backhand? Okay, then say, I mean, there are a couple of things where uh, um, happen. Um, in terms of those that were quarantined, we see, that they say, when you come off the plane, blah, 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 then they quarantine you. We saw them handpick some people who were quarantined where they wanted to be quarantined. You know, we see others quarantined under very poor conditions. So it will not be uniform, the, the response, not be uniform. So if we look then gaps, then they will then mean do. And if God not mean really save we, we may for really get a really, really bad pandemic in Sierra Leone. Because... We, we they go place them where you, you just even see with the administration, then go get functions then where nobody is wearing a mask, but then you go see the police and the soldier then pack in a corner, they harass people then for masks. But then we see their functions, nobody, nobody not they wearing masks. So when I say not just superficial things that normal would be they do, now that's I mean. Because if to say COVID being really, really, maybe the Africa, maybe the Sierra is resilient, they say the fact that. You know, with malaria and stuff, maybe we have an inbuilt resistance. I don't know what's happening with lock. Personally, I feel to say God been just not sorry for we say these are people who've been traumatized enough. So right. yeah, one one other um part where you mentioned part in statement, because I'm just speaking, you know, some key things them way that are visible we can talk about. You know, one other side where you talk about um you talk about water. And we don't see, you know, um, our water business stronger. We see videos, people are complaining, say, water no day. Uh, and people in the go to line sometimes, now the area it can take one month, people in the go. So this water crisis, in fact, has been for ages. But here we have President Bill talking about water and the achievement we don't make in four years. Let's take a listen, then you will respond to that. We have expanded access to portable water across the country with brand new investments in water infrastructure and assets in all district headquarter towns and other towns and villages across the country. 
On Saturday, I visited Guma Valley. And yesterday, I commissioned 15 brand new water bowsers to support the distribution of water in the underserved communities in Freetown. This is in addition to the 20 bowsers my government purchased just two years ago. UNICEF and WHO asserts that my government has increased access to portable water by 24% in the rural areas and 6% in the western area. This is more than any government has ever done in four years. All right, um, before we talk about the slogan that, you know, got everybody in attention, which, which is this is more than any government has done in four years. Uh, is, is, am I saying it right? This is more than, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> I want to say, all right, but I don't say, all right, I think this is more. The, okay, in government don't do, inside four years, they don't do more than any other government don't do. So that was the slogan that got people attention. But before we reach there, you see President Bill talk about how it don't improve uh, um, the water uh, um, supply chain. You know, talk about water portable, uh, portable water across the country. He talk about water bowsers then, you know, at this point, at this day and age, was alone. you know, I just want to make you respond to that. And he talk about how UNICEF and WHO you know, don't commend them and don't praise them, you know, with a good thing, we don't do, we don't increase, you know, the water uh, uh, so supply or chain, I think by 25%. What do you get for say to that? Um, I said the president for fire in speech writers, that's not the first advice we have. Say, um, say again, it's like, you said? I said the first advice we for fire in speech writers. They should be fired. Get rid of them. Um, because I accept a, a president may not write his entire speech. He relies on speech writers for really harness the facts, get data, compile them, and then compose his speech. So it, it makes no sense. For there, you don't hire them people and they, and then they pay them a serious amount of money, what we don't see now. And then you compile a speech to deliver to the Sierra Leonean people. Now, not to the United Nations, you they go deliver this speech now. You they deliver this speech to the Sierra Leonean people. I wish yesterday, HL, I mean, get a, I wouldn't call them camera, the way they fly up, them, them, them uh, go. I wish I mean, get a drone yesterday. For let I go around this country, and even any day this week, for let you see the struggle in the capital city. So, so what did that statement from President Bio tell the people of Sierra Leone is not true? Rachel, me they build one small oh, wall inside Freetown, inside the city, in the CBD. For the past three days, we're not able to walk because we're not get water. I mean, I'm not talking about the village. I'm talking about right here in the city. And if you drive along Mion Street, Ascension Town, Adelaide Street, all the corners, and they, you see people, some men are inside the gutter, and then they cut pipe. Then, I mean, the struggle for water is not an not only imagination, right. not only because people be, be, criticize, it is I real. Before, before you continue, let's take a look, because this is quite recently. Take a look at this. Yes, I will see no more than I saw that. I'm not the one who go well and in the future. All right, I mean, when I saw that video, I, I just put myself in that situation, you know, because I think, say, if we begin to put ourselves in that situation, the, the people the way they govern or the people the way they, you know, they in authority begin to put themselves 
in that position, probably will have a, a leader we will choose in words carefully. What do you see? Think what? What you 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 see in that video? What do you see in that video? Is there any hope for Sierra Leone with the bio administration that we have got so it has got so bad with water? We now so what are now people when they go get? In fact, the salt water they go get safe that the bubble they get and then you pay them back for that salt water and boil the water before you're able for drinker. Can you hear me now? I don't know if you can hear me, but me not hear you nothing. I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay, fine. I can hear you now. Okay. Um. Say, yeah, you don't. You hear everything I talk. No, I know you're nothing. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I say it is about time. I mean, the leaders um put themselves in the shoes of these people where they suffer. You know, I, I think if they begin for if we begin for put with shoes, when a politician begin for put on a shoes, now them the foot and then people in shoes, I think say when I go be careful the when I go be careful with our words, when they tell salon people in because do we have looking at that video? We get any hope with, with the new direction uh, um, for this ne next one year when it comes when when they, when they round up so for mid of election and and also we don't we don't go so backward that we get for the use of water well and before we drink. Any hope for Sierra Leoneans with this new, new direction? Um, I, I, me don't talk from a while ago. Say the, the direction is totally wrong. I, I know, no, we're not there for that. Talk and for that, make I'm fine. It, it's totally wrong. And right now, I know feel to say, self, the, the, the focus no, no longer there on the people. The, that focus, they're not actually there on them and on, on we anymore as, as the citizens of Sierra Leone. We actually don't see, say, then don't begin to change gear for go into, <laughs> into campaign mode. And with campaign mode, it, it don't do. The, 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 they're on the clock. They know say then they're on the clock. They know that they know say people they're not happy in a lot of areas, even at in strongholds. People are they all they cry for the same things: cost of living, for water, and for electricity. So, in America, say if I for advise the president, I will, I will advise and say, look, fire your speechwriters. It seems as if this is an alternate reality. No, not to this. I mean, when me they listen to the speech, I'm like, um. Sierra Leone is. Do you, that speech, do you get that feeling like for say after listening to the president's speech, do you have a feeling like you you're not part of the Sierra Leone the president was talking about? I, I have a feeling that this is not the Sierra Leone in which we're living, and and you know what? In you can craft a speech even during hard times, you can craft a speech and give people hope, but your speech. Was um, nah, nah, we can go well, the time they go to school, we call ourselves praise without no recommendation. When you don't say praise yourself no more, they praise yourself, they go in the, the best in four years, four years, four years. When the reality is very stark, a dollar is now 13,200 leons, so that's the ricochet to all the we they buy and all the we they do. So, if you're going to raise our spirits, relate, tell me, say, please, that you get it. So where we're coming from and then give we hope but instead you give us you tell us false information this is not true so so, so, the, us president, so the president uh the president in speech not you think say you know give any hope to Sierra Leoneans? i mean from waiting me nothing yeah, on the yeah, inside yeah. that's yeah, listen, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I, they give me own perspective. I they give me own perspective. Certain things that hit me. One, he was busy making excuses when not all water. Two, he busy they tell me how the international community saw the prison. Well, guess what? The international community doesn't live here. They're not in the gutters collecting, put a yellow rubber, then a gutter, they collect water. They're sitting in New York. They're comfortable. So no can tell we say, oh, no, they suffer. Yes, they are. What are not the lights? Not the, what are they making? And they call it power now. So are we supposed to be happy with that? I mean, 
Where's the reality in it? So don't tell us that the US thinks you're doing a fantastic job. We, now we foretell you say you did do a fantastic job. Now so, you, they tell me say, you don't change my life. But, the, 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 you know, like I said, that one slogan been there way in the pres inside the president's speech where it continuously they make, this has never been done by any government in four years. This has never been done. That was a catchy slogan where uh, um, I also part of something where I take from the speech. So, mm -hmm. uh, um, so all within President Bio say he don't do in mm -hmm. four years. Mm -hmm. Inside in speech, not who, and you think say what's that? Some of the things the way they don't do way the other governments don't do in four years. I mean. Uh, lads say waiting we they see or lads talk waiting right and uh, 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 you question that I'm saying waiting that you yeah. have your alternative views from waiting you they see and waiting you think say the people then what, what what are the facts what are the reality oh, of the world? Let, me take them, let me take them from the foundation of this entire country mm -hmm. Sierra Leone is more divided than ever in our history we know they talk about four years now. I'm talking since 1961, where we gained independence. This is the most divided we can't we'll ever be. Are you going to take praise for that too? Because if we're talking about seeing the way you don't do when you don't do pass all man, then that is your responsibility. After the charade of being to money three, what you don't see? We see such a polarized country. So then they, for one, now we first basis of foundation. In terms of political intimidation, the president is on a different trajectory. And let's tell you something else where he don't do more than four, the, any other president in four years. Now for tell we wanting, whilst something else is being done. Now for remove wanting, where you they replace them with something worse. That is a whole technique. For that, that is cleverness. You remove the public order act. And then we see indiscriminate killing. You go to Pademba Road, people like uh, attire safe. So we see almost like, you know, you get a snake that we get two aid, where one they talk so, one they talk so. So does, and he, he says it. Now you talk up. My advice is you get for fire the one the way they write this thing for you. At a time like this, where the country is hang away people and they suffer, give us a speech with some amount of lift. Something positive. So um, you know what I mean? So which kind of speech? One second, Rachel. Mm -hmm. Can he not be big enough to say, I know this past four years has been rough for Sierra Leoneans? It has been rough. That is at least you acknowledge the problem. But you want to simply have your hand on your back and you keep tapping your own back. I have done so well. I have done so well. And you they tell we, me go mark it today, Rachel, for go bye bye for pre day. And I saw the prices of commodities and I the one that say if me they complain. What happens to the rest of people who are not in my economical bra uh, economic bracket? And me, they complain. You know, so don't give us a speech. You, there's a time for kumbaya. But there's a time... Look, if, if you not say things are this wrong, make your speech short, make it prayerful, make it uplifting, and can down the podium. So uh, um, I, I want to ask this, this very uh, important question because I think, say, our, our leaders moving forward should take responsibility of their actions and should be able to take responsibility with, 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 within and, and to why you are voted in office. So yes. one, one thing, uh, we, we, what we do here and where I don't hear from this administration, is when things, when the people then question and they told, they will refer to the past government. The former, the former yes, they will refer to the former, the APC, the APC, the APC. But I yes. think here, 
what in that why, why why the people voted for new direction not because they don't want the apc and they, because they wanted change so my question is because um are they hearing from all of the, most of the opposition them out there say president Bill always they refer to we or they refer to the um, the past government say anything will happen we're not bad not apc not apc now the question is do you think at this point that like you say on our independence day that president Bill for the own up to in responsibility and talk to the people of sierra leone and be honest to the people of sierra leone and 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 and, and speak out in challenges and give hope to the people of Sierra yes. Do you think yes. that was what the Sierra Leone people were expecting? That was a missed opportunity. That was really a missed opportunity. And look, now possibly then I gave no more they make mistake. Really and truly. He, he could have, you look, that's why I tell you, say, in speech writers, they're not worth their salt. Then forget the teacher salary, let the teacher then get their own salary. Why because you the, why, why you blame the speech the speech writers where <laughs> where the president said they take a look at um um in, in, in speech and I saw that if some of we were you know do broadcasting, I saw he was even just... struggling with the teleprompter. He was struggling with the teleprompter and it take a part. I rest my case. I rest yeah. my case. So, if I was the president. <laughs> <laughs> I want to come on and report. Now you don't take responsibility for um. I guess you're right, Rachel, because if you write speech, give me, I'm going to read it and screen it. Yes. Before I deliver it, so you're quite right. You're quite right. But the president has advisors. He has advisors, and they paid good money. And their job is to advise, and part of that advice is once the speech has been crafted. You, but you see, everybody, they afraid for tell power too. You, they tell and now say, Mr. President, they are pulled apart, they make and so pull and part. But there, there again, he's overloaded with all these PhD people who think they are smarter than smart. So they think to say, we on this side of the speech were stupid, that we're not thinking, that we go just a clap like a, like a, like a big fool. When we are living it, this is our reality. We do not have somebody clearing traffic for us. We sit in traffic. We don't get somebody where they can supply we all our foodstuffs. We have to go to the market and your own and bargain for buy items. So when you they deliver something to we, deliver to we. Not deliver unto UN, not deliver unto UNDP, deliver unto we na, na, na salon. If things they go bad and you know say it they go bad. Then talk on. Now, how you talk on? People of Sierra Leone, these past two years has been rough. Then you can now, you give me your excuse, two of us. But you give me courage. So, so, so far, so far. Because I see a lot of Sierra Leoneans, you know, anytime with President Bill talk, people, it's like a, a slogan of President Bill to lie, President Bill to lie. If you come, come I speak in today, we say President Bill the lie. I mean, he's the worst president of you know, everybody getting your opinion, but the lie lie is constant. We've been saying so. In your own opinion, you think say President Bill has not been honest with the people of Sierra Leone? I think President Bill has been very economical with the realities on the ground. I, I'm Rachel. He has been very economical when you talk about water. Watana, we biggest challenge, not just Eton, across. When you talk about electricity, electricity, they make businesses, they close. Businesses are folding. Businesses are creeping. They are crawling on their hands and knees because of electricity. So if you can kind of speech, tell me, say, na small, small, room was not built in a day. Na small, small with a dwarf. We know say some areas get challenged, but una get patient with me. That is different from telling us that you get water, you get light. Now don't lie, you get. I don't say you get now. You all you freeze that they, they on all your water don't block. No, it isn't. So, so the first uh, sa salon people, you know, uh, this I uh, just draw me to the attention of at a time, you know, when Trump self do in one year, this in five years in this country. 
um, uh, I think four years, because America for four years. And, you know, one thing that people, when they, when they talk in America during Trump in time, is the lie, lie, lie. And, and, and the, the thing where make people so upset in America, you know, because yeah, it's different. They will tell it to your face. But Africa, when you tell the presidency, the lie, you say, oh, you know, for I just see you looking like blacker. So, <laughs> yes. So one thing that people that be really they upset about is the way he continued to tell his lies. And what and sometimes psychologically you begin for feel say that line at all. So there are two things. It's a psychological there's... thing that the administration is playing in the people of the minds of the people of Sierra Leoneans. Okay. Let me make let me make some excuses for the president. Let me make some excuses for him. One thing about the presidency, and then this is not true for winners alone. Very true for winners alone. That the president is kept in a bubble. He's in a bubble. Even when we as cop don't write several letters to see him, Teti they will know one day see him. So he's kept in an artificial bubble. Waiting the one teller, now then the teller. Waiting the one he read, now the kind of in table. Let me make an excuse for him. Until we have a president we're bold enough, we're brave enough for common in office, he waka go Congo market. He waka go down dove court. He can't come meet the people them. He go down na that attire base. And begin for really get a feel for waiting the people that they pass. For as long as he stays in his convoy, you know, if you know self say traffic in a problem, you know, if you know, you know, no, you know, no say blackout today because they're not crazy out in light now in us, you know, they're not crazy out in water now in us. Okay. We get hospital, so, we don't get water. Now that you so, talk about energy, you one, talk second, about... Rachel, mm -hmm. one second, one second, Rachel. So if he comes out of his bubble and steps out of his convoy. Then he will know what the people are going through. So now that you talked about, you talk about light, we, I mean, light crisis, it don't live forever. And Sierra Leone is 61. You know, we still live on water and the, the basic necessity. Let me just put it that way, the basic. We're still struggling with the basic and light is not one. And President mm -hmm. talks so highly about light, about energy inside in in statement, independent speech. It talks so highly about energy. Just take a listen to this and you respond. In just four years, we have expanded energy access and provided electricity to more towns and villages in Sierra Leone than any government has ever done. Maisiaka, Foredugu, Mambulu, Mange, and Rukrupu in the north. Moyemba Junction, Tayama, Sumbuya, Koribundu, and Sulima in the south. Gurahu, Bwajibu, Jujuima, Mobai, a Manoa town in the east can now boast of electricity for the first time. Bo and Kerima now have regular supply of electricity and work is ongoing on all district headquarter towns. My government is working assiduously on more energy generation capacity for the western area and have invested more in refurbishing transmission and distribution assets and lines right across this nation. This is more than any government has done in four years. This is more than any government has done in four years. Over to you about energy. Um, Rachel, tell me don't reach way, me in the bluff, my sister, where they Lagos. Say blackouts, even where they can count holiday, will not be no waiting a blackout again in the Western area. Honestly, will not be no waiting for the longest time. Now, recently, I go buy a generator. 
will not be no waiting a blackout again in our western area. Do you remember when last lights been don't go? Now, inside one day, light, I mean, <laughs> now blackouts are the order of the day. The other time, all the bulb then fuse with hot and light, the freeze, fridge that makes them can make them back. Hot and light, hot and light, we no longer have that continuous electricity. Again, that is something you can explain. But for the for, for what you received when they came to power 2018, blackout. Blackout had become a thing of the past. But now, blackout now is the order of the day. And like me, so where they do so many things on my computer. In the middle of something critical, like when me and you today talk so now, nine black light, lights go go. There goes my data and there goes. My 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 WhatsApp. So so you know so why why tell us an untruth? Why why tell us an untruth? Why? And know, it makes it makes him look bad because okay, you, what you you're telling us. I, I, I want to make um a lot of people to listen to this and make you listen to them because it's as it's as if the major things where President Bio talk inside his speech. From your opinion or from your reaction or your response now, they are not true or they are half of the truth, you know. So I'm wondering why will our president not tell us the truth? But take a listen again, make us make you pick what's what really important for this particular statement where you talk about energy. In just four years, we have expanded energy access and provided electricity to more towns and villages in Sierra Leone than any government has ever done. Maisiaka, Foredugu, Mambolo, Mange, and Rukupu in the north. Moyemba Junction, Tayama, Sumbuya, Koribondo, and Solima in the south. Gurahun, Bwajibo, Chujuima, Mobai, and Manoa Town in the east can now boast of electricity for the first time. Bo and Kelima now have regular supply of electricity and work is ongoing on all district headquarter towns. My government is working assiduously on more energy generation capacity for the western area and have invested more in refurbishing transmission and distribution assets and lines right across this nation. This is more than any government has done in four years. <laughs> Somebody just, you know what, before you get talk, okay, talk. I heard it. I heard it. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I say it is an untruth. Yeah, because some of these advice is like, you know, talk say, now Rachel, you know, there's freedom of speech, like you always say, there is freedom of speech, you know, freedom of speech, you know. It's not true. So, um, we don't play the video again, yeah. Yeah, look, there are many, so many areas. I mean, and you notice he uses Western area. I would love for him to say the capital city. The capital city itself. Well, don't keep saying Western Air. Don't say Western Air. The capital no electricity it does not have continuous electricity light they go and come constantly the areas then they will not get light at all his speech he could simply have styled it we are working on electricity supplies to these areas you understand but somebody the, the question say free tongue not to not to say alone i agree I quite agree. So when your flight lands, this is the first impression you get. This is it. 
and even we did plan for do trip or plan. I just for check with the the the, the guest house them when I get generator or when I not get generator because I need forget you know able for charge my computer and stuff like that. So, but nobody not go fault you. Nobody not expect the president for electrify Sierra Leone the entire Sierra Leone in four years. We don't expect that. What do we they expect now? For just tell me exactly what is going on. You understand me? So we they work on electricity for Western area. It is not perfect. You know, they also we want them, but we're working on it. But you give a speech that somebody will come, we not ever know where he can he listen to that speech. He go really happy for say, when he left here, he go Mambolo, he go meet Mambolo <laughs> all lit up. And, and that's not the case. Uh, you know, as, uh, <laughs> as we just talk about. But, but I mean, exactly. the, the truth and the facts is, is there for some people then for equally. Our life. The, the, so, our life. so yeah. you, you don't need to tell us an untruth. This is our life. <laughs> we get hospital. We don't have water supply. We not get from Guma Valley. We don't write to them say now they're not they send bill to we anymore. We water now we hospital now now from a water well. <laughs> so not tell me what's in a me on reality. Uh, you know, you can twist the facts, you can you can put some makeup on it, some lipstick on it, but it still remains our truth. So in other part, if they want all me for sake of that, then they, they can go right ahead. But that's now we reality. All right. Um, um, another thing again, quite recently, of course, we see the African Express um, pull another publication again where, it, we, where the judges them and, you know, the money, you know, and we are not able for calling them because yes. it, it, it asks me, hey, you know, when you begin to call them, <laughs> and when you look at the reality of how Sierra Leoneans are suffering, the majority of Sierra Leoneans are suffering, I mean, it's it, it really painful. And again, after that publication, they will see the teachers themselves you know, uh, um, they're, they're demanding. I mean, these are people that we, we really get with all government to pay attention to to teachers because yes. they're very, very essential and important in, in, in yes. the country. So we see themselves demand for their own rights too. And um, President we don't talk so much about education. And in fact, what in it put before when anybody right, they talk about the achievements, not the school, quality education. education. And now we see how the teachers then, in fact, um, I will play a video where the one school, you can then adult, no teachers. And how the free quality education connects to what's in the happen. And uh, like on the reality, on ground, the reality, because you keep saying mm -hmm. your reality, your reality, and the people's reality. So how the free quality exactly. education, uh, 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 mm -hmm. they resonate to the people's reality. Take a look at this. Um, as you can see, this is Christ the King College. The kids are outside together with their parents. This will tell you that um, the strike is going to continue because no invigilators are around. Only the parents and the kids are around. You cannot see any other teacher around, but only the parents and kids. Yes. I saw a man with a camera standing around, and we told our parents right down the field of Christ the King College. So definitely, let us continue our work as teachers. This strike is going to continue. It's going to continue outrightly. You see? Um, let me just um, enter. So this is just a, a, a part of the whole thing. Um, as as, as a, a, a parent and as a Sierra Leonean, with all what within the year the president, they talk about free quality education, free quality education, and in administration, so proud about this free quality education. And yet we are seeing all of this at this point in time, where did they talk about the free quality education? Where did they boast about free quality education? What would you say to that? Or what would you tell President Bio about this free quality education with the reality, with the people's reality on the ground? And um, 
it's, it's, it's a no school fee policy. But, you know, it's very sad. It's disappointing. It's annoying. For let you see, I mean, this is not your flagship program. Come on now. And you, the, the bedrock, the foundation of your flagship program is the teacher. They form the foundation on which the free quality education get for be built. Quality, not a go inside education because you say so. It goes in there because your teachers work hard to give you the quality. And those, that quality will be manifested in the results of your, your, your students. But listen to this. For a government where they always they tell we say we have a listening president, we have a listening president. Except if presidents be one time say, you know, they watch TV, you know, they listen radio, then they tell our waiting old man they talk. Again, I speak to this bubble if he's in a bubble. Because if this is your flagship program, you go, for, you go invest other than money, time, and energy. When you teach us, then they talk. For Christ's sake, somebody for listen. Instead, they are arrested. Then they arrest them. And the teacher say, we not trust SLT you. In that case, engage, consult. Collaborate. Bo, teachers, let me talk to you. The president cannot be up in heaven. He has to be on earth with the Sierra Leonean people. Call them. David Senge, come, call the teacher them. The Namota man, we Namota man. Let me talk to them. This means free education. Now, na shoulder is the pan. What is the problem? Let us engage. Let us listen. Instead, you throw them into jail. You arrest them, embarrass them, molest them, and throw them into jail. Now, to me, again, <laughs> there's something very artificial about this. That you want to be screaming free quality education and you want us to believe it. And these are the people that were all the quality in the hand. And you have no time to communicate with them. You have no time to listen to their grievances. But you can call themselves, you talk to them, you don't give them better money. But they feel, say, the president heard me. The minister heard me. Instead, the minister goes on TV. I don't even understand what he was talking about, quite frankly. You have a problem on your hands. How do you fix it? So, so, so you, we're still there on this education because, like I said, this is not one thing where the, the BO administration they push strongly as one of the biggest achievements. And now we have this PhD Gates scandal we come out, mm -hmm. and most of the, the, the people then, even with inside the presidency, we have, we hear we say people and they inside the presidency, we get this fake uh, um, PhD certificates. Uh, but take a listen at this one, let, 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 let me make comment on that, this, whether it's a serious, backlash for this government and how you think say president pay for hundreds of Dr. Septimus by the powers vested upon me according to section 3 subsection 2 of Dominion Christian University worldwide constitution as the founder the chancellor and the international executive director I hereby affix this medal on you as an honorary doctor from today henceforth doctor of Christian education Congratulations. <laughs> also, to back that one up, you have your, your sash, which certifies that you have already received your honorary doctorate degree. Give him a round of applause. Our newest doctor in town. <laughs> Dr. Septimus Robert. God bless you. We go to the next person. Ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to call this person last, but let me do it fast. The class game that I've been standing. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Like I 
has been walking both the back and the front until 3 a.m. We are talking. <laughs> bro, what is going on? Bro, what am I hearing? Bro, I'm coming at 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock, he was here this morning. We are proud of him. Yes. And I know he'll be with me in June to Nigeria. Yes. He will receive us with convoy. Yeah. Put your hands together. This man, I want to say brief things about him. Welcome, Dr. Ibrahim George Taki Sanko. Congratulations. All right, you know, I don't let you just scatter and out. So <laughs> make me go on quickly because we don't get time. <laughs> now um, we see, um, you know, there was a time when some teachers then be engaged into some um, um, exam malpractices, uh, as we to me understand, and they put them under the cutting tree. They, and, and they were in handcuffs and placards and say what what's in the no ones for making them safe front them at their own you know their own displays and they hang something down at the neck. We see how they will they will disgrace them heavily. And now we have the scandal where um Dr. Lahai continuously the bring out and none of these people or even the governments will come for challenge like Let's let's talk a little challenge uh, of the truth. And this some of these people are in the presidency. And one other person, they were uh, some of them were all position of authority, were, were position where we so strategic to a country. We have the IG, we, we, we have other people, we have the you know um, parliament, the clerk of parliament, and so many other people that we get we all strategic position in other country and sign and lobby and speak on behalf of Sierra Leone. How do you think say President Bill administration should handle this scandal? I think that if for really, then for really handle them tough, then for come out tough. If President Bill, as he says repeatedly, is very concerned about the reputation, global reputation, the international reputation, then I feel to say this now one thing with they not for play with at all. Don't care who you are, don't care where you are, don't care what you do. If this thing catch you, you should go down. For let it show the international community say, yes, we are going to fight corruption, and we're not get for grief for let corruption fetch we back. But if I am to make a prediction. If I am to make a prediction, there will be Ying. This thing, they hit close to the nerve. So we go look for let them put the, mo the money inside the mouth. Can they say there will be Ying this time? You know, things say something. Well, we, uh, are you hearing anything? All I can hear is silence. All I can hear is deafening silence. It has hit close to home. It has hit them close to home. So some of we, they wait for see what they will do about it. If you are so concerned about free quality, using the word quality education, and this kind of scandal, you know this is the carpet you sweep and go under. You then pull the carpet, you sweep the whole goddamn place and get rid of it. Say, we want when we students, we young people and getting qualification, when they want travel in the global arena, they can compete. Not so for make, when they say certificate, salon, oh, they are put another file by under, then are they fake people then. This is where our reputation comes into play. Now, yeah, we good name come into play. Now, if you really care, not about the cosmetic aspect of Sierra Leone, you, you know, get rid of the death penalty. Wow, excitement. When last we end for Sinaya? When last? So if you really care about our image abroad and you care about quality education, a surprise minister of basic they not don't hope much better than this minister for tashari they not don't really i mean come out really strong come out really bold 
maybe have a conference, have a seminar, which is their specialities, and really come out and say, look, we want the world to see us that we're not going to stand for this. The good name of Sierra Leone matters. We oh, were the oh. accent of West Africa. The okay, so, so we continue to watch, we continue to monitor if it will be there was a yin. <laughs> Oh, there will be a yin. Trust okay, me. Okay, For tonight, yeah. bags of yes, yin. Yeah. <laughs> there will and be so, a yin. So everything in a yin. The, 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 the corruption within state house, falsification of receipt. Have you had? It, it Have you had anything? It it's a yin. Okay. It's a yin. <laughs> so when it is the small fish, mm -hmm. when are the small fish, the teachers yelling, talking, being interviewed, making their feelings known, exercising their freedom of speech, and even their freedom of association, they end up behind bars. What's in there for tell me? Tell me what you want tell me. Even to those who are the clappers. What can the clappers tell us? Tell me something that we're not living it. All right, okay. Um, I, um, as the chairperson of COP, um, we're getting to elections now. What do you expect Salon people then? I want to plan for work with Salon people then, and I want to plan for what do I expect Salon people then for do at this time? You being the chairperson of COP, when a consortium of different political parties, what do you expect from the people of Sierra Leone, and how we to plan for reaching out to the people of Sierra Leone? Well, now we want for really, um, we the try for strategize on encouraging people for register when person in life don't trangle it don't trangle it don't gains it don't totally gains you know if you like say what are they go vote for they, they, that voter apathy they they kick in so everything will change that the same thing no more so cop has a big responsibility and a very big job for trying to get some amount of enthusiasm into the people of Sierra Leone for saying no, na big with big. As politicians, we have failed you. We have. Promises have been made cycle after cycle after cycle. We don't they make promises. But now we all they come together as one family. The opposition they really try for come together. And I think to say in that way they will go get checks and balances on each other. So we're not for seated for tax politics anymore. We're not for see focus on one region, one area anymore. Because guess what? All Monday inside the consortium, everybody is represented from the south, from the southeast, from the north, from western area. We all day they now now one port. So everybody will watch out for everybody. So they're, they're not for we'll not forget this a politics of competition, a politics of winner takes it all, a politics of do me or do you. I, I feel say. The responsibility lies on we, the consortium, for really begin for engage the public, for begin for tell the public, say, points not there for law, we can beg on a for vote 2023 if you're not on register 2022. So we, we still really get for join on with the one the way they really push this registration for let every single individual we eligible for register, register. So I feel to say that it will be the immediate challenge of which challenges them Boku. But I think to say that may go be the immediate one for really get out and really communicate to people. Then we don't care who you vote for come 2023, but register first. When we're done, done with registration, then we go can cook sooner now for vote for whichever or people and they stand for the MPs and, uh, and all their positions. So, then they, will, we see, will, will we see a coalition just like in Gambia? I pray, if I could, I would even fast repeatedly, regularly over this for there to be a coalition. I think what the future of Sierra Leone... towards a coalition. I think the future of Sierra Leone really lies. The success, I take that back. The success of Sierra Leone lies within us forming a coalition. We cannot afford the winner-takes-it-all formula. It don't fail we time and time again. Now, in attempt for let we begin for beat each other in checks and balances. To say, no, that, that police today, no, 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 think about it. It's not going to work like I now. No, 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 think about this. In Falaba, we have this, this, and this. It wouldn't work. Oh, okay, come well, together. Okay, so we have, I want for show one, one uh, video from 
um, President Bio, where, you know, we, we, we complain as I was team Tranga, team only for eat, but President Bio get advice for me. Take a listen. The best way to happen now we plant chop and then the bear fruits and they eat them. But I make her encourage every Sri Lanian. More with the plant to protect the leaf, more with the plant with the okra, more with the plant everything made there in abundance. So that's with the, that, that talk with the inside service market, they talk. Me are hungry. Oh. We go left for the stock because we able plant and this. Now. Alright, so service man for the well, president build on find the solution to we we hunger crisis as alone. What do you say uh, before you say you know before wrap up? What do you say towards this solution? I I think the president now probably a symbolic talk and thing even they do, not really looking at really feeding the nation. Um I think to say not just symbolism no more. Because some man no get us. Talk less of yard for plants, particularly. So man, na pambodi ide, na na jambodi pambodi ide. You don't get sign for plants. Sign not there for throw in dirty pass iba na gota. Talk less of sign for plants, the particularly. In that case, let us scrap the Ministry of Agriculture. No, give we all land, we all plants. I mean, don't be facetious. The people are hungry. The people are desperate. The people are sad. The people are looking to you for meaningful solutions and you're being facetious. I think that is almost, uh, um, I think maybe he was, maybe that was a, a, a moment of. We have built and rehabilitated more school infrastructure. We have built and rehabilitated more school infrastructure. Committed more money to supporting education. Extended universal access to free quality education to all children. Provided free learning and teaching materials. Revamped vocational education and fundamentally changed education in just four years. This is more than any government has ever done in four years. alternate reality this is a simple case you know but why why say all these things why independence day speech why should we be talking about the 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 the, the untruths of our president's speech on independence day this is an unfortunate conversation that we shouldn't be having. We shouldn't be having. What is our reality in Sierra Leone? People and they don't get us. People and they don't get food. People and they, when they're sick, they cannot afford medicine. And, and you're giving us a speech as if all is well, sir. Are you out of touch? I think he's out of touch with the struggles of the people. But I don't believe that either, because when you drive around the cotton tree, then there's the uh, Rachel, cotton tree, Lomli, Eastern police. If you see beggar man there, if you see beggar man there, they all line up, then they wait for them donations of small yes, small this. What have we become? What on earth have we become? And you give us a speech, uh, Mr. President, those speeches, keep them for the UN, please. When you're talking to your own people, keep it real. Tell us, we know okay. you cannot fix Sierra Leone in, 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 in four years. You okay, cannot, let's, nobody let's, can. Let, let's end with that. Yeah. Uh, let, let's, uh, let's end with that I note uh, you, you, you started just now. Um, and in, in, in a, in a, in, in a whole, how you see President Bio in statements or the talk where he talked to Salon people in from the introduction? Do you think Sir, um, President Bio be the talk directly to the people of Sierra? Do you think it covers directly or be the talk to one set of people uh, um, in Salon? And waiting now you advise 
to 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 uh, um to president Bio as a leader because on self now politician you're vying to uh, you know for govern this country so what would you say as uh, um this current government what would you advise president Bio and also what would you tell the people of Sierra Leone? Plenty. So I want to go to the way we addressed me in the beginning. But yeah. I tell you something, Rachel. Yeah. We in a salon, we don't use for embrace both states. Me now, I tell you, I go market today, not to so. I go market today because I can't cook for send go to me Muslim friends then. So, at the end of the day, whether he greets me Muslim or he greets me Christian or I embrace him. I, I go embrace him. Why? Because I embrace the Muslim family them, of which I have many. But from the president, we expect a little bit more. But we're not a vex for Seka that embrace me. The only sign now we don't turn a, a sport now because what even the greeting was done was inaccurately delivered. So now they don't turn to spoke to now in the country. But to Sierra Leonean people, if I forget a final message, it will be a message on get out and register. Points not there, you they complain. Points not there, you they clap. If you are part of the clappers, you still get for register. If you are part of the complainers, you still get for register. So if I am to end on any notes, it would be 2023 will be a crucial election for Sierra Leone. No, yeah, I, I, it will be a crucial what, what advice, or I will not say advice, but what would you want to tell the BO administration with with this with this uh, speech where President Bio makes it? Eddie Talker from the beginning. I said, fire the people with the writing speech here for you, sir. Said, fire them. They're not worth the money they are paid. Give that money to the teachers. Give that money to those begging around cutting trees. They're not worth their salt. And check their, check their qualifications. They're probably dominion. Other than that, this is not a government that listens to advice. They don't listen. And if you give them, they don't take it. But the beauty of advice is it's free. You can take it or you can leave it. But for me, we are done with all this. What we're focused on now is 2023. Let liquids find their level. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, uh, uh, Madam Femi Claudia Skull, you know, for having me on this program. And I want to say thanks to Star TV always for making broadcast this program, you know, La Frito. And uh, Madam Femi, you have always been, you know, um, you know, the voice, the voice. You've always been the voice from the exception. And people, I see one or two comments and say, oh, all the time you oppose, you oppose. What are your solution? But you've come with me, like you say, you know, now that the government, that this government doesn't engage, doesn't consult. They don't engage us. Yeah, they so, don't talk to us. Yes. Yeah, so because that could, have been, that could have been your responsibility as opposition for give a candidate and give advice for, uh, to, the, to the government so that, I mean, if the government, if the government succeed, it, I mean, everybody succeeds, everybody's happy. You know what I mean? It's a win-win situation. It's a win -win situation. So I just want to say thank you and the people of Sierra Leone within the comment section. You know, a lot of them are complimenting you. A lot of them commend you for your strength, for your resilience, you know, for, I mean, for, for your boldness, um, especially being a woman. We know how it is. This is a, the politics is a man's world. Especially in Sierra Leone, it has always been man's world. So, for, yeah. So, for a woman, you know, and um, trying to get your seat and put it at the table by yourself, we know it's a struggle. But you still there, hanging in there, even when they push you at the table, you're still squeezing your chair to sit down so that you can have your voice, not just your voice, but the voice of women and the voice of Sierra Leone. So with that being said, I really, really appreciate you all the time coming to this program and always raising your voice um, for the people of Sierra Leone. So I want to thank you so much and I wish COP all the best and, uh, you know, in this um, campaign and in the 2023 election and people are rooting that you guys can consider coming together as a coalition, you know. But again, I always say, Everything is at the hands of the people of Sierra Leone. If you yep. buy us five hundred thousand, you know what to do. If you get if you get lights, like also you don't get lights, you know what to do. 
if you get water that you also you don't get water you know what to do so i mean go register and you know the decision is yours come 2023 thank you madam femi and have a blessed weekend <laughs> thank you and a happy uh ramadan uh, pre day to everybody oh, yeah happy ramadan to our muslim families you know we love yep. them all as always yeah we're going to enjoy the pre day definitely we're going to enjoy the pre day <laughs>